Let's start with Mr. Milton. Milton, okay. I don't know who is Ms. Ms. Mr. Milton. I have no time in my life ever meet with this Ms. Mr. Milton. So I don't know where this report say me and Mr. Milton took the visa to me. I don't know who is Mr. Milton. I never ever did meet Mr. Milton in my life. Secondly, he said that me and Mr. Tillett wrote a statement to confront the transaction. I don't know what statement and what tra transaction he's talking about because as far as I'm concerned, I, I remember just because I was working in city council mm -hmm. and um, I was with Patrick for whatever reason, I don't remember Mr. Tillett that day. And um, I wasn't even aware of uh, Mr. What day, what day are you talking about? The day of the meeting the of the day council? For, yes, correct. Okay. I, 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 was, I was with Mr. Tillett that day. I don't even know um, who Mr. Tillett is going to meet. I gave Mr. Milton six visa applications for him to handle the filing and the processing at the Department of Immigration. As far as I know, immigration does not sell visas. You don't walk in with $2,000 and say, I want a visa. As far as I know, you make an application, your application is analyzed and determined, and when you have said yes to that application, you pay the $2,000 and you get a visa application. Okay. That we, was what I paid all for right. Maybe we can stop there. on behalf of my clients. You've kind of gone ahead of me, Mr. Yeah. Tillett. I, I want to know who Mr. Middleton is. That's all I can say. He was introduced to me. And I asked who, him who introduced to, you to him? Uh, Mr. William Stewart. Who, Mr. William Stewart? Yes. Mr. Mr. Middleton has an office? He was introduced to me. I didn't meet him at his office. Okay. Um, I just kind of find it difficult that um, you would have handed over people's passports and applications to somebody who don't, didn't know their first name. I, I knew his first name at the time. He was introduced to me, but I said, no, I don't remember his first name. Uh -huh. I knew his at the time. Do you know where his office is? is? Does he have an office or does he work out of the back of his car? Freelance people may work from home. So okay. you, you don't know if he I has an know. office? So you don't know? I don't know. You don't know his name? You have a telephone number for him? Four years later? No, I don't have a phone no. number. I've changed 10 phones between now and then. Mr. Milton, don't know me. If you bring him here today, he can't identify me. I don't know him either. Okay. When the allegations broke probably a month after December, I made it my business to find out who was Mr. Milton. And he told me on the phone that he didn't mention my name to Mr. Tench, so I don't know why I'm here today. I guess you need to bring Mr. Milton here. Maybe you can help us. Do you know his first name? No, sir. Okay. I don't even know his first name. I don't know how he looked. So how you got his number? I had someone found him for me, someone from Corozal. Someone because, from well, if you had an allegations broke out about you, would like to know who said it, right? And the person told me that there was a guy, Mr. Milton, who said that I gave him some visas for sale. So. I made it my business to find out who was Mr. Milton.